to separate two substances by distillation. Safety glasses must be worn as there are chemicals involved. In this experiment, we are going to separate a mixture of alcohol and water. The reason why this method works is that the two substances being separated have different boiling points. It can also be used with substances such as salt and water. What we are going to do is we are going to heat the flask and the alcohol will boil at 78 to 80 degrees. The alcohol will change state from a liquid to a gas and it will travel up the tubing and down through this pipe here which is known as a condenser. So before we start, it is important that we switch on the condenser, which simply involves turning on the tap and the water will flow in the bottom, up through the condenser and back to the sink. This flow of water ensures that the condenser is kept cool throughout the experiment. We will switch the Bunsen to the blue flame by opening the collar. We will now gently heat the mixture and monitor the temperature as it rises. We do not want the temperature to reach boiling point of water, which is 100 degrees. We merely want it to reach 78 degrees. A liquid can be seen forming in the condenser now, and that liquid is the alcohol vapor, which has traveled down into the cold condenser where it has condensed back into alcohol liquid. The liquid is forming in the graduated cylinder and our separation is going nicely. Again, the condensation can be visibly seen in the condenser. It is important throughout the process to monitor the temperature of the thermometer that it does not reach 100 as at that temperature, both liquids will boil. We merely want it to reach 78 degrees. At that temperature, the alcohol will begin to vaporize. I have put in some anti-bumping granules to ensure that the solution boils smoothly. And as you can see, the alcohol is beginning to boil, so I will remove the heat All the alcohol has now boiled and has traveled over into the graduated cylinder. The liquid that travels over is known as the distillate, in this case alcohol, and the liquid which remains behind, in this case water, is known as the residue.